creative. It has to have all these things in order to be able to deal with the fact that it doesn't know what the environment is to start with. It doesn't know what problems it could um, come up against. And so it has to be able to deal with a wide range of uh, what I call environments. But they're actually a wide range of different problems and situations it may encounter during its operation. So, my informal definition then is intelligence measures an agent's ability to achieve a wide range of, uh, a range of goals in a wide range of environments. Okay? So it's a very general um, ability to achieve stuff, to make decisions based on your experience in order to achieve um, the types of things you want to achieve. And this is a, I believe this captures the essence at an abstract level a lot of the definitions that we'll see. I'll show you a sample of them in a minute. Um, and it's also something that you can try to formalize, and I'll do that later. We can formalize what an agent is. We can formalize what goals and environments are. We can formalize what a wide range of environments are, and so on. Yes? Why does it have to achieve goals? If it fails in its goals, is it still not intelligent? Um, so it's, it's, it's an ability on average. Okay. So if you generally fail at every problem you encounter, because you're unable to make the decisions, then that's... It's not intelligence. Yeah. <coughs> is the goal part of the definition of, of an agent? Does an agent have to have a goal? Like yeah, okay. So this is, a, this is a sort of slightly... This is a point that trips up. People, we... Coming from a reinforcement learning background, we use slightly unusual <coughs> terminology here. And when I, you, you run into this, yeah, you run into this problem of, okay, there's a few things going on. One is that our goals are actually going to be part of our environment. And usually, um, that, that, that makes it mathematically easier to deal with everything. Because we want to consider this whole range of environments and all the different problems you might want to achieve in them, right? But, and, and that sort of makes sense from a reinforcement learning sort of standpoint. But actually, if you, you know, if you physically build a robot or something, then the robot is going to have to interpret its environment, and it's going to have its goal sort of inside itself, right? Yeah. And it's going to actually decide what constitutes success or failure and all these sorts of things. Now, you can have, you could have a model where the agent is able to have access to its own goals and define its own goals. But you need to be quite careful there, because you can have things come unstuck quite easily. So you can say, well, how, I mean, you can get this sort of Zen Buddhist kind of situation where, well, how am I going to be really successful? I know, I'll just define my ultimate goal as doing nothing. Wow, I'm incredibly successful. So if you're able to just arbitrarily define your own goals, then you can, you know. So when we, uh, we wouldn't want to uh, measure the intelligence of nature, what we actually need to do is we need to constrain it with some goal. So you'll be given an IQ test, or you'll be given some problem to solve, and what we want is we want you to optimize towards that goal so we can measure your performance. If we can't do that, we basically can't measure how able you are, because you could always... Um, but what about the intelligence of the goals? That, like, how what do you mean? The, the, the goal setting, does, is there intelligent goals to measure intelligence and unintelligent goals to measure intelligence? Well, we're going to consider all the goals. Sorry. We're going to do the whole space. Or, and I'm going to define that a little bit more precisely soon. Yeah. So it's a very, very general thing. We're not going to exclude anything, more or less. I'm going to gloss over a few of the details. I should also say that at some points here, I'm going to say things which are not quite technically true because the full technical details are actually get quite complicated. So I'm going to say things like probability distribution over sequences. And really, I'm talking about a, a, a lower semi-computable semi-measure defined over cylinder sets on blah, 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 blah. Right? <laughs> so I just, want to, I just want to say that up front somewhere that, you know, it's not that I'm... I, I, in order to get the idea across, I need to sort of gloss over a few things. And they're not hidden. They're all in the books. You can read all the technical details. And, but for a presentation, it, you just get lost in all kinds of details that don't really matter. Is there a question? Uh, 
Um, I was wondering if you could do away with the word goal and just say intelligence measures an agent's ability to perform well in a wide range of environments, or does it specifically mean well, the goals to achieve? What does yeah? What does perform well? I mean, you have some it, environment. It, it has it, it has to be designed to to do something well. Yeah, but it is necessarily a goal, so it doesn't have to be a planning agent. Sorry. Uh, well, when I think of the word goal, I think it has to move towards a goal using a plan. Oh, I I don't care how it gets there. Okay. And yeah, I'll fall just just the goal the as I go on. This isn't. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. So, now let's have a look. Just one more so, question here. Oh, yes? <coughs> I don't want to be pedantic, but are we going to get into the definition of why? Yes. Excellent. A little bit. <laughs> but if you, want, if you want more, ask me and I'll, okay. I can talk for ages about it. <laughs> I can put you in the papers and everything, whatever you want. Okay? So, first of all, just get this in mind before we start looking at a few definitions. So I, I just want to sort of support the fact that this is not an off-the-wall definition by standard ideas of what people think intelligence is. Okay, so intelligence measures an agent's ability to achieve, achieve goals in a wide range of environments. So it's a big space of goals, big space of environments, general sort of ability to achieve stuff. Okay, so let's have a look at some definitions from psychologists. We should use the word intelligence to mean the ability of an organism to solve problems. So you've got a few things coming out here. Um, you've got the organism, so you've got some kind of agent, and you've got solving new problems. And so it doesn't know, presumably it doesn't know what the problems are in advance, if they're new problems, right? So it has to be able to deal with some wide range of possibilities, or some reasonably wide range of possibilities, because it doesn't know what it's going to encounter. Um, and then by the fact that it's, it's got the ability to solve them, there has to be some notion of what success is in this sort of situation, right? Okay. Um, intelligence is part of the internal environment that shows through the interface between person and external environment as a function of cognitive task demands. And so here we see um, the, the important point that you, you have um, an agent in an environment and it's at the, it's the interface of the interaction between the two that we can actually measure um, the, the, the system right, and get some idea of the, the dynamics of the system and, and hopefully the intelligence of the system. And, you, and you're seeing that we need to have an agent and environment as I've broken up before and so on. And you've got some sort of task demands which are cognitive in nature. So these are, these are again, the, um, the problems. Um, the person possesses intelligence insofar as he has learned or can learn to adjust himself to his environment. Um, so again, you've got the notion that it's a matter of degree um, here. Because these are all, of course, definitions for people. And I'm not really so interested in definitions for people. I really want a definition for machines, right? a much more general thing. So obviously, Whenever they say people, I want to sort of put agent in there. You're not sort of agent. Um, and then learn to adjust themselves to the environment. So there's some notion of adaption here to some environment <coughs> which, if it has to learn and adapt to it, then it, it doesn't fully know what it's going to expect to start with. But it may have some idea. Okay. Um, it's a global concept that involves an individual's ability to act purposefully, think rationally, and deal effectively with the environment. So again, you've got this interaction with the environment, um, you've got this notion of dealing effectively, so there's some idea of success or not failure with the environment with respect to some kind of a goal here. Um, a cluster of cognitive abilities that lead to successful adaption to a wide range of environments. Wide range of environments. Excellent. Um, <coughs> And now here they talk about, it's a little bit different here. So this is an idea, this is an example of how my definition is a little bit more abstract than some other definitions. And they talk about a cluster of cognitive abilities. Now, I don't view intelligence as a cluster of cognitive abilities. I, review, I view it as the result of some cognitive abilities. And the result is your ability to successfully do stuff, right? And so... You might have planning, you might have the ability to categorize, you might have the ability to recognize, you know, recognize or predict or do all sorts of things. Um, humans may have some of these abilities. There may be cognitive abilities that humans just don't even have, that machines in the future will have. And so intelligence is not actually these cognitive abilities, it's actually the result of these abilities. See what I mean? So in some sense, my definition is a bit more abstract. Okay? But nevertheless, it's 
it's quite similar in flavor and it's got the uh, wide range of environments, which is exactly what I'm going for. Um, so now we'll switch over to um, some AI research and definitions. Intelligent systems are expected to work 